What is up, App Nation? Welcome to another virtual summit where we got some amazing, amazing guests really walking us in detail on how they've been able to achieve their success. And today I got a friend of mine. He's all the way in Ecuador. His name is Francisco Cornejo. He's the co founder and marketing director at Sailor Bear. And you can check out the website, Sailor Bear. And we're, Francisco, Francisco is going to talk all about how he's been able to achieve over 30,000 paying, these aren't just downloads, paying customers using this storytelling Facebook hack that he's discovered. Okay. It's going to be an amazing, amazing action packed with screenshots, with screen share, everything that you want. But without further ado, Francisco, welcome to the summit. Hey, Steve. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to share this uh, piece of knowledge and advice. Um, and as always, I, I'm always checking on your tips and, and hopefully this will be helpful for your community. So uh, let's start. So I put together a couple of slides to show you exactly what I've done. Um, yeah, well, you already introduced me, so uh, not much about, about me. As I told you, we founded it, this company in Australia. So most of the stuff I have, um, like the currency we're using on, on our uh, Facebook platform is an Australian dollar. So show you that in a second. This is the app pretty much. It's a simple app, but it's really powerful. It combines three things, which is bedtime stories, uh, relaxing music, and infant massage, and gives uh, the parent a, 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 a guide that's super easy to use guide on how to share a couple of minutes with your child before bedtime or, um, I don't know, after a nap. Um, Super short, this is how it works. I don't want to, to get too much into detail. Uh, no, play this, it. man. This is Mama, good. I bet you didn't know this. Uh, that's yeah. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> it's it's easy, it's easy to use, but uh, the effects are, are really strong. Um, that's why we have so many reviews. If you check our um, app store uh, uh, page, you will see thousands of reviews. Uh, but let's get to what's interesting. We have a story, and every one of us has a story. Um, I mean, when you start an app, a business, and a startup, uh, there's a lot of struggle. The, you had that aha moment. Everyone has a story. So we decided to share our story. And um, this is pretty much it. This is my wife, Daniela, and my oldest kid in, on the left side. And here you can see them having a coffee. Um, and I think it's all about that. It's something that everyone can relate. It's something simple. We, uh, this is actually our actual story on Facebook. You can see uh, we posted it from her uh, Facebook page. Uh, we didn't use the brand for that. And those are the keys to, to connect with people. So I'm already <laughs> throwing everything in, but uh, that's pretty much it. It's, it's as simple as, as telling your story. So we found out that we were not the only parents who were struggling to get their children to sleep. This is uh, actually 80% of parents go through that hassle between zero to 12 years old. So um, we weren't the only ones and we shared that story. And, and this is something really personal. She felt uh, that she could help uh, other people by telling how our life changed at some point when we went to Australia uh, with a one year old and three year old by that time and how the, the putting together these elements, which later uh, resulted in the app, um, help our family and change our, our life uh, pretty much uh, our d dynamic in, the, in our relationships. I don't know, it was really, really powerful for us. So she, she uh, wrote this story, we put it on Facebook, we put it on Instagram, uh, and it went, it went viral uh, almost immediately. We push it uh, a, a small amount with social media ads, uh, but the virality w was amazing. As you can see, we have uh, with this particular story, um, 30,000 shares, uh, 11,000 comments, uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, reactions. Uh, but, and you can check the story, I can send you the link, check it out later. Uh, and it grew from there. Um, we put this in English and Spanish, and Spanish worked uh, better, uh, mainly because um, we knew how to talk to the audience. As I told you, Mexico was one of the countries that uh, worked most. Um, but this 
there was a collateral to this. Uh, we not only uh, get our app out there in downloads, but we also got a super high engagement with the person. So as you can see, her page, and this is actually not updated, um, we created this from scratch. It, there was nothing before. We put that story there, um, and after eight months, now she has 140,000 followers on Facebook, um, and it, that was a collateral. We didn't expect that. It, it was people reading the story, reading about how the app was uh, created, and obviously they get interested in, in, in the app. Uh, they went and downloaded the app, but also connected with us. So. Uh, the relationship we have with our users is, is amazing because now they know the person behind. And, and if we release uh, in-app content, they are keen to buy it because they feel a connection with Daniela, who is my wife. And she's often making videos talking about the app and how to improve the benefits of the app. Um, and also writing other stories about some other times in her motherhood. Um, which could be useful for someone else. So this is pretty much everything. Um, it's, it's not something complicated to do. You need pretty much four things. Um, the first thing you obviously need is an app. <laughs> um, but the key uh, thing here is you have to have the Facebook SDK integrated within your app. That's the only way you can measure if that particular campaign is working or not. Um, this is not necessarily something you need to do, but I really like this kind of communication when a person is talking to you and not a brand. Um, so we get busted with tons of ads throughout um, our social media. Um, and yes, you can check them out. Sometimes you have really cool ads, engaging ads. But if that comes from a person, it's much more personal. It's much more relatable. And I think people want to hear people talking about stuff, not brands talking about stuff. So that's why we created this uh, Facebook page of Daniela. Then you obviously need a story. As I mentioned, we all have stories to tell. Um, what you, you said, uh, Steve, is, it's the main thing. You have to find who is your target and what talks to them, what's uh, um, relevant to them. As it was an easy guess for us, we uh, were through, uh, went through that, uh, or children were terrible sleepers um, and the app really helped helped us so we tell that story about how we struggle and how when we discover infant massage everything changed for us and how we put that together into an app um, hoping that somebody else will be needing it and to our surprise it really grew from there and uh, the rest is testing because uh, as you saw here the picture we used, if this is not a, photo, a professional picture, at the time I took that picture, I never even imagined it would, be, <laughs> would have ended in 10 million people, uh, I don't know, devices. Um, that was a, a super natural picture. We were having a coffee. I think that was Mother's Day somewhere 2015, 2014. Um, but we tested the picture. We, we tried a couple of pictures. We tried the one on the left. We wanted something that didn't feel like a brand were, was talking to you, but a regular day-to-day -day person. Because, again, this talked directly to our audience. If your audience is a, a business person, you probably need, a, or an industry, or you're selling a B2C products, you probably will need some other kind of a, approach. Um, but again, I love when people talk to you and not brands. So... Um, uh, and testing. Uh, we did a lot of testing. We tested first the, um, the story, we tested um, the picture, we tested the audiences, um, and we tested the call to action. At the end, we asked people, if you like this story, please try, try the app. Uh, and then we added, if you like this story, please share it and uh, try the app. Uh, and then we added a, a last bit uh, and let us know uh, how it it went if you, after you tried it. And that helped a lot because it grew the virality and a lot of people want, seek this uh, social validation. So when they saw the comments about people saying, uh, you made me cry, I'm being through the same, I tried the app and the app is amazing, or uh, I started using the app uh, and my kids sleeping from day one, um, they felt comfortable and went and buy the app because 
it has a price. So it's even harder to get downloads. But with the story, we managed to tackle a lot of things uh, and to get a lot of gains in one go. So I can show you how my um, Facebook uh, campaign uh, works. Yeah, let's. I, all right, guys. If you want to see the rest of the interview along with Francisco walking us through exactly how to set up that Facebook campaign so that it tracks properly, well, go register for free by going to appmasters.com slash summit. You'll be able to access all our summit videos. And if you're watching this way into the future, well, you can get access to the past summits as well, just by going to appmasters.com slash summit. And I'll see you on the next video. Click the top video if you want to see how to actually spy on your competitor's Facebook ads and click the bottom video if you want to see how to make Apple search ads work for paid apps.